you know, so many times when you're out in the field, you'll encounter a technician, a supervisor, or inspector who will cite building codes as the proper way of installing HVAC systems. Installing a sub panel, wiring up a disconnect, or running PVC pipe in the attic is just one of the many responsibilities of an HVAC technician. Whether you pull permits on your job or not, a company's worth is based on the quality of its workmanship. And if that work fails in just a few years, it most likely wasn't installed according to code. So often you'll notice the code referring us back to the manufacturer and how they want it installed. Referring to the installation guide and following along with the steps in the book will take any and all guesswork out of what you're supposed to do next. This is the sign of a real professional in their trade. Now I'm not here to claim I know or could even possibly interpret all the codes correctly. But what I would like to do is open up some conversation about the building codes and your opinion about what we're talking about on this particular day. If this is your first time visiting our channel, please click subscribe down here below on the right. If you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. So today I wanted to talk about installing a service disconnect at the condenser. I wanted to take a look at one of the first points made in the California Mechanical Code, and it stands out from the International Mechanical Code, who just says to follow the National Electric Code when it comes to this. But as an installer, I've had the question of whether I had to put a disconnect here or not. So let's take a look at what 3.4 says about electrical connections. First, it says equipment regulated by this code requiring electrical connections of more than 50 volts shall have a positive means of disconnect adjacent to it and in sight from the equipment served. This just means that a furnace would need a 120 volt pigtail as its positive means of disconnecting voltage from the furnace. When you unplug the furnace, no voltage can reach that furnace, and that's what it's trying to say. A 30 amp or 60 amp service disconnect is installed on the 240 volt circuit that goes to the air conditioner outside as its positive means of disconnect. So here's a question for you. Let's say we're installing the AC unit. Usually the disconnect is right next to the condenser, so the service tech can access the unit safely. Do we always have to put a disconnect right next to the AC to remove power from the unit? The answer is no. If the main electrical panel is within sight of the condenser, then that can be our means of positive disconnect for the unit. The double pole breaker inside the main electrical panel is that means of disconnect. This has come up a few times as we teach new technicians. Next it says, a 120 volt receptacle should be located within 25 feet of the equipment for service and maintenance purposes. The receptacle need not be located on the same level as the equipment. So because we service our equipment with pumps and motors that require electricity, an outlet needs to be within range for a 25 foot extension cord to reach it. It's specified later in the code book for package units installed on the roof a dedicated outlet at the unit has to be installed in certain jurisdictions, like in Yolo County, right next to Sacramento County here, uh, we have to install these 120 volt weatherproof outlets at the package unit up on the roof for servicing, and uh, that's to meet the city's more stringent adaption of that code. That way we can use our vacuum pumps and recovery machines up on the roof. And it's kind of funny, Sacramento County does not enforce that part and doesn't make us do that. El Dorado County, Placer County, same thing. It's just that Yolo County just uh, seems to uphold that, so. And the third part of this code is that low voltage wiring of 50 volts or less shall be installed in a manner to prevent physical damage. I wanted to bring this up because this is kind of pet peeve of mine. It bothers me to see pictures of air conditioners installed with a thermostat wire running to the AC and its brown sheathing is exposed to the UV rays of the sun. You know that even the slightest bump of a dried out thermostat wire against the AC is enough to strip wire and expose it to an electrical short. Some half inch conduit should be run with the thermostat wire to protect it from damage. It really doesn't take any extra time to install this flexible, non-metallic conduit right into the condenser. Some techs just don't think about it because they weren't taught that way. And it's all good. Once again, this is just starting a conversation about this. So what do you guys think about this section of the code that talks about electrical connections? You guys always put a disconnect right to the AC, even though it's inside of the main electrical panel? Are you guys putting conduit on all of your thermostat wire out at the AC? Just some questions I wanted to put out there and start a conversation about. If this is your first time visiting our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right. 
And uh, if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos. And thanks so much for watching, guys. You're watching Fox Family Heating, Air, and Solar. Don't forget to subscribe. And check out more of our videos by clicking on the right side of the screen.